we are going to uh, start uh, where we left yesterday uh, uh, in the sense that uh, we are going to uh, see how uh, how we could uh, for example uh, so uh, quantum dynamics of uh, identical uh, particles so quantum dynamics or uh, quantum so quantum uh, dynamics of identical uh, particles so for example we just saw one particle states uh, car evolution uh, how that happens in uh, space and time uh, in the same way what we are going to do is uh, we, are, we are going to uh, see uh, how uh, things uh, uh, will evolve in uh, space and time uh, for one particle states so ab ye hamare paas ye hai ki uh, the thing is that uh, so what we are going to uh, see is uh, basically uh, uh, sir six black ka hai sir huh Yes, screen black. Now it's fine. No, sir. अब ठीक है. ठीक है. अब आया. Okay. So we are, we are going to see it uh, in that sense. so what we are going to see we are going to take hamiltonian of a system for example hamare paas if you remember in quantum mechanics we have heisenberg picture we have a schrodinger picture and we have interaction picture so in the three pictures what we are going to ek to hai ki we are uh, taking the operators ka evolution in space time dusra usme state hi evolve karti hai operators don't evolve so among the three uh, pictures like schrodinger heisenberg and interaction picture we will take a heisenberg picture and then we will see how we can arrive at a uh, schrodinger uh, picture also uh, from this to jo hamare paas ye hai for example uh, if we take uh, the hamiltonian of a system uh, for example uh, hamiltonian just it is hamare paas so we will take for one particle states as well as for uh, two particle states for one particle states uh, it will be uh, like this uh, k is the hamiltonian h for one particle state and the second term uh, is uh, we have a uh, creation operators we have annihilation operators and this is for uh, two particle states ts a s and a r so you can go for uh, as many particles and uh, as many for one particle states is called your hamiltonian hai uh, yeah, it's like this and for so there are two creation operators and two annihilation operators there is a one creation operator and one annihilation operator here so so if we want to have a uh, equation of uh, motion uh, so we must evaluate uh, commutators in the commutator stand for this uh, if you see yesterday for one particle states it will be uh, for example a j a j this is uh, operator a k dagger a l and for the other one it's a j a q dagger uh, a r dagger a s a r so it's commutation relation of this uh, with this one of the creation operators since here two particle states have we will get uh, two uh, operators here uh, so in that sense for one particle states uh, the evolution if you, if you just open you can also represent it as the al outside uh, is called you can write, uh, write it in terms of uh, conical delta and the same way here we will have uh, this can be represented here as basically uh, we will keep we will get ar dagger A S A Q uh, delta Q Z minus A Q dagger A S uh, A T 
AS into delta R2. So we'll have, uh, so for, uh, for one particle states, uh, we can have uh, chronical delta Y bars. And for uh, two particle states, it can be like this. Now we are going to, what we have to do? So in this class, what we are going to do is we have to uh, see uh, how we can uh, represent. Uh, I see. Now it's fine. Oh. Okay, so you just uh, try it. Uh, I'll just uh, see it. if I can record it. I'll send it uh, recording also. You just see it. So up uh, you just uh, hear my words. Uh, then you can compensate uh, from the book. Uh, you can simultaneously see the book, a soft copy of it. Uh, you can see the equations. So, so what we are, I'm trying to say is basically for one particle state and for two particle state, uh, the commutation relations in terms of equation of motion can come out to be this, and it can come out to be this. So, what is uh, main uh, our uh, today's uh, class is that. We have to use, uh, for example, uh, both statistics, uh, the Fermi Dirac statistics as well as uh, Bose Einstein uh, statistics to uh, uh, describe uh, both the Heisenberg uh, picture. We have to use these identities uh, basically to uh, see how the Heisenberg picture will uh, just, how can uh, Heisenberg picture will pan out. Uh, with these uh, sort of uh, commutation relations, uh, the equation of motion carry uh, in that sense. So we are going to for one particle states, uh, which is represented by this, and for uh, two particle states, so you can see it like this. Uh, there are two initial and two creation operators. There is one equation operator. So how can uh, see? It? So you can you can say, for example, we have to see this equation and this equation under uh, both Einstein statistics and under uh, Fermi Dirac statistics. Under both and Fermi Dirac statistics, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, there in the, in the former case, both the, there will be no change of sign. In the later case, there will be change of sign uh, depending upon odd and even symmetry. For uh, even symmetry, it will be minus, and for odd symmetry, it will be plus under the exchange of uh, interactions. So, so, now our Heisenberg picture here, for example, it will come out to be like this uh, for both uh, statistics. So, using the Heisenberg picture, what we are going to see, we are going to see time evolution of this operator. Uh, so, the time evolution of uh, the operator uh, will come out to be for, for example, it will come out to be for iota h d a is a i h uh, this is commutator so it will be for uh, j h not l a l plus half sigma or s uh, p a l dagger a s p p this is uh, G R B S T. So this is the third equation maybe uh, we can have. So you can have a uh, uh, two particle states, three particle state, four and n particle states. So we can have uh, the other one can be so you can have for three particles. Uh, this is for uh, this is for two particle states. So this derivative we have taken. This is for first particle state. And uh, since there are two terms here, there are, there are two terms here, sorry. So there are two terms here, so uh, the derivative will be uh, two terms. So it will be uh, 2st uh, uh, a2 dagger al as qj v into ts. Now we are going to use one of our previous equations, uh, which we have seen uh, previously also. Uh, Side that we can uh, somehow uh, relate uh, this to our uh, operator in terms of uh, matrices. Two operator uh, value matrices, which do is depending upon two, two parameters. So these can be somehow related uh, in the previous thing. Side that uh, Q or uh, 
v p of s this is operator for this uh, it, it's also equivalent to r to uh, v s so if you just uh, so we can replace one of them here and uh, this will reduce this may have our equation in two terms i mean and this equation the equation of motion has it will come out to be this is the first term j s not uh, l uh, al plus half of sigma rst ar dagger as at jr uh, v uh, ts plus r j v s so for any the equation of motion for uh, both sorts of uh, statistics uh, can be uh, written as it can be uh, written as it can be uh, written as so you can you can see uh, so if it's like this so we can substitute it here so we can write it here uh, so the equation of motion can be written as iota h v uh, a by d t uh, is equal to sigma l uh, j h not so this is a hamiltonian for one particle state uh, with a one uh, creation and one elimination of this operator uh, this is for, for one particle state sorry and for two particle states uh, you can have a to the p a r p a s t and now uh, instead of these two terms we can just uh, replace it with one uh, we can say it's j q uh, v s r so here also there is operator h here there is an operator v so here it's the operator uh, for one particle from j to l here it's j q to s r uh, so this is the thing aur isi cheez ko hum now what we are going to see is uh, a case of a uh, special interest arises if work we work in the representation in which two particle uh, matrix element is diagonal so if we can further uh, simplify this equation uh, side that uh, we can uh, say uh, that v yahan par ye v v q j is equal to v j q so if it's diagonal uh, we can uh, simplify it then जो हमारे पास ये वाली मैट्रिक्स है इट विल कम आउट टू बी जे क्यू वी एस आर सो दिस इज ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटिंग बिटवीन टू वेरिएबल्स सो इट विल बी वी जे क्यू डेल्टा जे एस एंड डेल्टा क्यू आर बाय ऑपरेटिंग बिटवीन टू दिस क्रोनिकल डेल्टा फंक्शंस जिस तरह हमने कहा फॉर फॉर वंस वी ओपन इट फॉर for uh, continuous eigen values as well as discrete eigen values uh, what can be uh, the uh, possible combinations for continuous eigen values uh, there can be uh, delta functions uh, or, or uh, come out for this uh, thing so there there will be two delta functions because there are two uh, parameters uh, here ab hamare paas ye hai what we have to see is uh, <laughs> yes Huh. Now it's coming. Now it's coming. You try one thing. You just see soft copy and just hear what I'm saying. Okay? Because the connection is maybe weak. I think. Sir, your connection is very weak. Two G. Absolutely, it's very weak. चलो आई ट्राई टुमारो बेटर कनेक्शन सो सो इस पर टुडेज क्लास यू जस्ट ट्राई टू लिसन व्हाट आई एम सेइंग एंड ट्राई टू सी ऑन द बुक द इक्वेशंस ठीक है वी हैव अराइव्ड एट बेसिकली व्हाट वी आर ट्राइंग टू से इज वन पार्टिकल स्टेट एंड टू पार्टिकल स्टेट्स इन जो हाइजेनबर्ग अंडर हाइजेनबर्ग पिक्चर एवोल्यूशन इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन कैसी आई प्रोवाइडेड हमने बोस एंड फर्मिडिराक स्टेटिस्टिक्स को अंडर द एक्सचेंज कैसे हाउ दे विल पैन आउट और हाउ दे विल 
how things will uh, pan out. So we at the end arrived at we arrived at this equation. अब हमको ये क्या करना है काम जो इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फॉर रेडिएशन ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन जो हमारे पास आएगा इट विल कम आउट टू बी सो इट विल बी डी आई बी डी टी सिंस वी आर रिप्लेसिंग इसके बदले हमने ये लिखा वी कैन सो वी कैन राइट राइट फॉर वन पार्टिकल स्टेट्स दिस टर्म विल कम दिस इज दिस इज ऑपरेटेड फॉर वन पार्टिकल स्टेट एंड फॉर टू पार्टिकल स्टेट्स वी कैन है a dagger q uh, a q t a j t and uh, now this v q j v q j now if you remember uh, yesterday what we did we try to see uh, once we try to open up these two one particle states and two particle states uh, for uh, for what i should say uh, Uh, we try to open them uh, for discrete and continuous eigenvalues. So, if you remember the yesterday, we uh, got for one particle state, we got for v of l. Uh, this uh, r, uh, I just uh, write it here. So, r of uh, uh, so, uh, for two particle r sigma prime, uh, r down prime sigma prime. So V was equal to R to triple point. So uh, and R. So it was basically equal to जो हमारे पास है right hand side in terms of R R double point and this is one delta function. R minus R double point. And this is the another delta function. So it is delta sigma sigma prime and delta. Uh, this is another. Uh, uh, So the, for two things we will have two delta functions or three delta. So accordingly, जितने parameters हमारे पास होंगे, for example, if we increase this, uh, accordingly we can have uh, those uh, delta functions on the right hand side. So having this understanding uh, of how we can uh, impose, so we can say, uh, for example, uh, we can, and if we also at the end basically represented them as Parameters of spin, sigmas as spin parameters and r as uh, coordinates. So, so, our pass, so the uh, evolution equation I G, our pass in terms of uh, psi and psi dagger will come out to be basically. It will come out. It will come out to be. It will come out to be I will say H. R sigma. R prime sigma prime. Psi of sigma prime. R prime p. This is first term, and this is the uh, second term. For this is one particle state, and this is for uh, two particle state. In terms of v, uh, so v is uh, operator or uh, or prime psi sigma dagger uh, or p psi sigma prime or prime p prime and psi. अब देखो इफ वी सो इफ वी टेक ओनली वन पार्टिकल स्टेट फॉर एग्जांपल सो एंड वंस वी हैव मोर देन वन पार्टिकल टू पार्टिकल्स थ्री पार्टिकल्स सो दिस मींस दे आर हायर ऑर्डर इंटरेक्शंस सो फॉर वन पार्टिकल स्टेट ऑफ मे बी ऑफ द सेम काइंड फॉर फॉर वी सिंस वी आर टेकिंग वन पार्टिकल स्टेट्स बट वन पार्टिकल स्टेट्स मे बी अगर हम एक ही इंटरेक्शन ले लें नॉट टू पार्टिकल्स Get for example, the moment you fox space, uh, choose the n one, n two, n three. So you can take infinite number of particles of infinite number of kinds. So you take only n one particles in that uh, subspace. So n one particles may be of the same kind. Abu for n one particles may be ham a uh, particle will be sitting, two particles will be sitting, three, so on and so on. So that we can accordingly have those exchange interactions. 
So you can neglect for free point on this program if you if you neglect uh, neglect those exchange interactions. So free particle ko hum vision right hai. Free particle ki jo evolution equation hai, we can write it like uh, this. Yeah, we can write it like this. Uh, so first term, this term uh, can be written as r sigma x naught in the operator r prime sigma point. So we can have uh, we can have uh, right hand side as operator. So if we have uh, the way we have a position operator and momentum operator, we can uh, represent it. Uh, this operator can be position operator or it can be momentum operator. So we can have r uh, if it's position operator or we can have a momentum operator of the form this. And uh, right hand side, in this between these two, we can write it in terms of uh, delta functions. One of the delta functions, or means or prime, delta sigma sigma prime, for a uh, continuous eigenvalues. So you have come out now. What we have uh, arrived at, we have arrived at an equation of motion, equation of motion uh, for in terms of Heisenberg picture for both Bose as well as Fermi particles. Uh, the uh, equation of motion in terms of operators, in terms of operators, operators for one particle states, and this operator is uh, basically position operator or momentum operator. Now, what we have got, uh, this is the thing. So we have uh, got if we are going to neglect uh, this unit term uh, for uh, this thing, for one particle state, uh, what we have arrived at is basically uh, for one particle state we have arrived at is iota h d psi sigma r t uh, by uh, d t is equal to h naught uh, r uh, this is, uh, these are operators which are momentum operators psi of sigma r t so you see on the left hand side it's the wave equation which we have time dependent and time independent Schrodinger equation h psi is equal to e psi the time dependent Schrodinger has Schrodinger psi evolution of psi is our time and right hand side maybe we can have uh, Hamiltonian the operator so in the same way this is also sort of we can say we have arrived at Schrodinger equation but right hand side mean we have sort of we have an operator uh, which is operating on psi so I said when I started the class I said we are going to start with Heisenberg picture but uska jo analog hai, we are going to have this as if we are uh, arriving at the solution of short equation but it's got operator form uh, jo hai. so so the annihilation operator uh, which may be corresponding to this coordinate uh, uh, do not wait हम इसी को कहते हैं quantized uh, Schrodinger uh, quantized uh, Schrodinger field B and it's also called in uh, uh, quantum field theory के literature में uh, it's, uh, it's misnamed according to this book or it's uh, improperly called second quantization of uh, second ये quantization second उस sense में नहीं है in that sense uh, that we are quantizing the field again but it's the name has got stuck and it's called uh, second quantization. So it's how we uh, impose both uh, Fermi uh, statistics uh, on uh, how the evolution of uh, uh, Heisenberg picture, uh, evolution in terms of uh, operators uh, and if you negate uh, higher order interactions, you can have in the simplest case, uh, you can have this very really, uh, equation. Uh, now, uh, what we are uh, going to see is uh, basically uh, doing this. Uh, so, but now if we say that uh, yesterday also we said that uh, interaction uh, they, it can be in space, multi dimensional space, three dimensional space, yeah, n dimensional space. So, the integral can be. So if we take the interaction of the particles, which may be um, the second term, yeah, we can uh, increase the interaction, uh, but it will happen. Uh, so we can uh, represent the second term is key uh, here. We can we can we can represent it like this. Uh, we can represent it like for if it's 
स्पेस अगर कॉन्स्टेंट है गिवन स्पेस हमारे पास आ रही है यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन से तो इफ द स्पेस इज समवट कॉन्स्टेंट यू कैन से दैट दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस वी ऑफ आर आर प्राइम सिग्मा आर प्राइम पी बीटी आर सो कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन ऑफ द मोशन व्हिच वी नो ऑलरेडी So now you can derive the same equation for uh, n part. So if it's for uh, uh, three-dimensional space, you can say uh, you can the second term can be written by this. So for n particle systems, for n particle state, uh, the equation can be uh, taken as uh, since we have uh, imposed spins sigmas here. So sigmas can be denoted as uh, sigmas can be denoted as साइ ऑफ आर सिग्मा वन आर टू सिग्मा टू सो ऑन आर एन सिग्मा एन सो यू कैन डिनोट इट बाई फॉर एन पार्टिकल स्टेट सो इट्स दिस स्टेट साइ वन सिग्मा वन आर वन पी साइ टू सिग्मा टू आर टू पी सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ सो वी कैन वी कैन हैव अकॉर्डिंगली वी कैन हैव एट एट एंड साइ so if we want to uh, represent uh, this uh, equation for n particle states for n particle states jo ye hamari equation hai it will take uh, the form it will take this form we take this form i will write this e by dt of psi r1 sigma 1 or 2 sigma 2 or in sigma n p to first term plus j l is equal to 1 to n v r i r g psi of R one sigma one, R two sigma two, so on, so on, R two sigma two, so on and so on. So this is for n particle configuration. So if I summarize uh, today's class, what we have done is uh, basically you know, we have seen uh, we have seen uh, how uh, under uh, Heisenberg picture uh, how the operator. Uh, evolution of operators these are with time uh, how can I incorporate uh, fermi and bose uh, uh, statistics uh, uh, and in the simplest case for one particle states uh, we arrived at schrodinger equation of this for uh, this thing and not taking interaction into consideration so then if we also take spin as a property we can just uh, see it in terms of uh, uh, this we can first arrive at uh, in terms of uh, this uh, delta functions how we can arrive at this equation from one particle states it's a sort of a schrodinger equation also but we see it's a schrodinger field uh, equation which is also called uh, uh, second quantization and for n particle states the equation if we also include the interactions uh, and in it the space is constant uh, so the equation uh, general equation will have uh, this form so so, so we'll, uh, stop here